I think uh, liberals should stop booing me for pointing out that Islam is not like other religions, that is a unique threat. and that yeah, there but, is it, but it's not Islam you're against. I read Dean on uh, TV the other day, and he said something uh, along the order of, he said, uh, the people in ISIS are, uh, I said, I'm about as uh, Islamic as they are. You know, distancing the vast numbers yeah, of right. Islamic people around right. the world from that's just not true. It is true. It is not true, Charlie. There is a connecting tissue between. Uh, you mean you know behind every behind every Muslim is a future member of some radical. Let me finish. I thought I was doing that. <laughs> uh, there are illiberal beliefs that are held by vast numbers of Muslim people that I don't think... Vast Howard... number of Christians, too. No, no, that's people. not true. Not true. Vast numbers of Christians do not believe that if you leave the Christian religion, you should be killed for it. Vast numbers of Christians do not treat women as second-class citizens. Vast numbers of Christians no, I agree with that. do I not just believe said. that if you draw a picture of Jesus Christ, you should get killed for it. Um, so, yes, does ISIS do Khmer Rouge-like activities where they just kill people indiscriminately who aren't just like them? Yes. And would most Muslim people in the world do that or condone that? No. no. But most Muslim people in the world do condone violence just for what you, you think. That? They do, first of all, they say it. They shout it from the... Vast majorities of Muslims Absolutely. Say that? There's a Pew poll of Egypt done a few years ago. 82%, said, I think it was, said uh, stoning is the appropriate punishment for adultery. Over 80% thought uh, death was the appropriate punishment for leaving the Muslim religion. I'm sure you know these things. I know. I'm, well, I do. So, but so, so I, to but claim I don't, that this I don't religion believe... is like other religions is just naive and plain wrong. It is not like other religions. Uh, the New York, Times point, New York Times pointed out an uh, op-ed a couple of weeks ago that in Saudi Arabia, um, just since August 4th, I think it was, they have beheaded 19 people. Most for nonviolent crimes, right. including homosexuality. Those didn't got the hands off the thief. Right. Okay. So we're upset that uh, ISIS is beheading people, which yeah. we should be upset about. But Saudi Arabia does it, and they're our good friends because they have oil. Right. Okay? But they do it too. This is the center of the religion. In Mecca, where uh, infidels, right. non-Muslims, are not even allowed in the, in the holy parts of the city. I mean, right there, yeah. we don't have that example in other uh, right. religions. Okay, they do behead people. Now, if they were beheading people in Vatican City which is the equivalent of Mecca. Mecca right. in, don't you think there'd be a bigger outcry oh, not, about it? Yeah. So this is the soft bigotry of low expectations well, I, that we like have that with, term, with Muslim people. Yeah. When they do crazy things and believe crazy things, somehow it's just not talked okay. about nearly as much. I Muslim, do believe that, that, that what we see with ISIS is not representative of... As I said, connecting tissue. It's not no, representative not representative of the right. Islamic religion. Again, I don't think the Quran teaches them to do this kind of well, thing. Well, you're wrong about that. The Quran absolutely has on every page uh, uh, stuff that's uh, horrible about how the infidel should be treated. As Ayan Hirsi Ali points out, she says, uh, uh, can, I, can we really say... Too. Well, uh, and she would know better yeah, than either one exactly. of us. She, she said, that. can we really well, say that, that women are treated equally in the Muslim world? I no. mean, their, their testimony in court yeah. is very often counted as half. They need permission to leave the house. They're doing things like making them wear burqas, and I hear liberals say things like, well, they want to. They want to. <laughs> They've been brainwashed. You know, they don't want... It's, yeah. it's like saying a streetwalker wants to do that.